So we're gonna use this warehouse model created by Felicia over on the Fire Pigeon Discord and create a HDRI. Now if you wanna download this model, you can go to Gumroad or it's better just to go on her Patreon. It's cheaper. Um, and if we kind of like even just look at the details, like you can just see what these trusses are like. So if we go into solid mute, you can just see the detail that is in that model. Mm, this model even. Now I do want to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So I am going to use the trafficker add-on and let's just spawn in some cars. Spawn truck white. And then while we're at it, let's give it a bit of a uh, fast car as in some sort of uh, la shady deals. Black please. Okay. And now it's like the mafioso. So what I'm gonna do is gonna shift right click and put my 3D cursor where I want the camera to render from. Shift A will throw in a camera. I'm gonna press Alt R to reset the rotation. I'm gonna press G, Z, two. And what this will do is set the camera at two meters high. Let's go rotate X 90 degrees. I want it to be facing the other way. So I'm gonna rotate Z 180, beautiful. So now if we go into front view, this is what we're looking at. Let's set up some of the camera settings now. So with the camera selected, let's jump to the camera. There we go. Change from perspective to panoramic. Change from fish-eyed equal solid to equal triangle equal 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 that one. And what we're gonna have is minus 90, 90, 180, 180. Obviously we don't have to change anything, so that's fine. And we can see already, this is what our HDRI is going to look like. Now let's go back into the render settings. Um, we've got it in GPU and cycles. That's fairly important. I lowered the sample rate down to 256 just to kind of speed up the process. I could probably go a little bit lower, but that's fine. If you want more quality, the higher you go. The next thing is let's come over into the render settings. Now I've got 4K by 2K, so 4096 by 248. Obviously you can go higher for more quality. Now to get the full level of the HDRI, we're gonna go from PNG and we're gonna change it to Open EXR. The color is going to be RGB. Color depth, I'm just gonna put it as float half. And also let's just go DWAA for the lossy. And now we press F12 and wait. And there we have our HDRI. Now let's go have a look how to apply the HDRI. And don't forget to save it. So from a brand new blend file, let's jump into shading, change from object to world. Shift A, let's search. I'm gonna add in an environment texture, not an image texture. And we'll plug that into there. These pink boxes are because of the node preview add-on. Um, obviously there's no information there. Let's quickly open it up. Open, going to where my library is, 3D stuff, textures, HDRI warehouse. And if we go into rendered view, you can see that we have this really nice HDRI. Now I probably should have rendered this out in 4K, but you can see that we've got some wonderful lighting straight off the bat and it looks pretty schmick.